I recently needed to attach a plastic gear to a shaft for a prototype drawing machine. The first one, like this, went on fine and worked great. The second one wobbled as it rotated and refused to work. After a lot of head scratching and some language I'd never want my wife to hear me using, I discovered the problem was with the nuts holding the gear to the bolt. It turned out that some of the nuts I had purchased from an open bin at a Lowe's hardware store had been threaded at an angle to the nuts center line. I went back to the sort and searched through the bin and discovered that after comparing many dozens of nuts, which got me some odd looks from both customers and floor workers, that half of all of the nuts in the bin had been threaded crooked. The result is that these nuts thread on the bolts at an angle of as much as 10 degrees. You can see the difference here. The bottom gear is true, whereas the upper one, held with the crooked nuts, is at a definite angle to the bottom one. This was for the 5 16 bolts and nuts that I was using. I can't say if this is a common problem with all sizes and distributors, or if I just got unlucky. I don't blame Lowe's for this. How could they know that one of their sources was selling crooked nuts? And besides, the nuts still work fine for 99% of all uses. But if, like me, you need to use the nuts to hold something perpendicular to the bolt, you might want to do a test threading to make sure they run true before buying. I admit this won't be a problem for many people, but hopefully this video will help a few. For more articles covering everything from ultra-fast images of nuclear detonations to the strangeness of Fletchner colors, please visit my main website at waynesthisandthat.com. Thanks for watching.